Today's video is something to do about baking because my son is turning three this year and um, I want to bake a cake for him. It's a theme cake and because he's so much into cars, into also kind of cars, but one of his favorites is a tractor and I'm trying like uh, I thought of this idea and I just thought maybe I could do a piece of cake just uh, like a tractor i've not done this before i just want to try this out um according to the pictures i saw it doesn't look hard but i know there are going to be challenges and that is what i'm here for so i'm gonna take you along with me during the video how i'm going to do the cake and <laughs> we don't want to waste much time so let's get started so what we're going to start doing is by measuring 300 grams butter or margarine so I have my 300 gram margarine inside here and I need 275 gram sugar I already measured this so what I'm gonna do is put my margarine and my sugar into the bowl I'm gonna add my sugar in it and start slowly by slowly using my hand mixture. So with the help of the hand mixer, I'm going to mix them together to obtain this uh, fluffy um, mixture or paste. And then I'm going to add in my vanilla aroma, uh, like a half teaspoon. And... Um, but if you don't have a vanilla aroma, you can use vanilla sugar. I prefer to use vanilla sugar because it's um, it has more taste or rather just uh, fresh vanilla instead of aroma. But because I didn't have uh, sugar by me, uh, then I had to use my vanilla aroma. But that will also do. So mix it up and then add uh, gradually sugar bit by bit and then a pinch of salt and mix them all together after that i'm gonna grab the eggs and i'm going to add them one by one so you add one you mix then you add another one and mix until you've got all the five eggs into the mixture yeah. I'm gonna add in my four teaspoon baking powder into my 275 grams wheat flour mix them up make sure to sift add that into the mixture and gradually mix with the hand mixture and add in five milliliters of milk until you obtain a thick pasta or a thick um, paste like this one here so this is ready to go to the oven so I'm going to take my baking sheet already prepared with a baking paper and um, this is going to come into the oven for um, 30 minutes under 180 degrees uh, yep so during the time the cake is in the oven um, baking I'm going to go ahead and start making my frosting or buttercream and I'll be needing 250 grams of butter and a softened make sure it's at a room temperature and mix it with a 200 and I mean 200 gram um, powdered sugar so like um, I said better to have a vanilla extract it gives it more taste than vanilla aroma but because I didn't have I'm going to just use my vanilla aroma and make sure you mix that up until you obtain a very smooth creamy um, mixture like this one over here and 
if you want to know if your buttercream is ready you will notice by the color like i mean it's kind of whitish and it's not mm, uh, yellow anymore so after my buttercream is smooth and creamy i'm going to add my custard and um, my cooked but you can also opt to buy one from the supermarket already made and this kind of gives it more more of that creamy taste and that is why i add in a custard now it's time to prepare the cake these are my two pictures which i took um, from the computer and i just just to use them as um you know like a pattern to help me cut out the way I want to do it. So I don't know. This is supposed to be, and something like this has to be. So I just want to see if I can be able to combine. To do, I'm going to remove the layer, the first top layer of the cake, for it to be even. So I'm just going to cut this. going to turn out the way I've like I've tried to they want it to be so um, I I'm I myself I'm um, kind of nervous and yeah let me see we'll see if it turns out the way I'm supposed to be this way or was it supposed to be the other way um, mm, 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 mm. Just this way or this way? Even need a talker. So I'm applying the fondant, uh, yeah, not fondant. I'm applying the buttercream or frosting, whichever way you want to call it. Um, I actually don't know if there's any difference between frosting and uh, buttercream. So I just think it's just, it's, it's the same. So... Right now I'm applying the frosting all over the cake and then I'm going to put that in the fridge and let it be hard, the buttercream to harden. Then I'll have a design the yarn there. So I rolled out my fondant, a ready-made one I bought on the supermarket and because it wasn't green like the color I needed I had to like um, mix some colors to get this green color over here and applied my um, like my green color on my white fondant and um, I needed this like the way you need a chapati dough or something like that and voila that was it i had my color green fondant ready to use 
So another tip for you guys, if you do not have powdered sugar, because powdered sugar is normally used to roll out the fondant, just use wheat flour, like when you just normally do your chapatis, and you can roll out your fondant easily. So now, finally, the cake looks like a tractor, you guys. At this moment, I was like, phew, I was, um, I was happy. At the same time, I was kind of relieved because it actually looks like one. So, um, yeah. Um, so right now, whatever I had to do was... <laughs> so what I had to do was like, um, I used muffins for my tires and I had already made um, like the yellow part of the tires with a yellow fondant um, just to, to make it more realistic, you know, like kind of a, <laughs> kind of a 3D. Uh, yeah, I for just because it was the first time I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually proud of myself that it came out this this good. So yeah, so I was, I'm trying to like uh, do my final touches, uh, make up those um, tires and um, secure them with the rest of the frosting so that it can stick well onto the cake. the birthday cake tractor themed cake is finally through oh my god i must say i am damn proud that it came out this good that was a moment i thought i could not do it but i did it girls and i am proud and so this brings us to the end of this video let me know what you guys think in the comment box down below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked. So that was it. See you next time and peace.